This is a hotel tour of the Home 2 Suites here in Austin, Texas. And upon entering, I noticed that the front door handle was broken. Don't know if that's a flaw or what. But it's broken. Unless that's the way it's supposed to be, and I don't think that's the way it was. I think it's upside down or something. But at least the deadbolt works and latch lock are both functional. You get the fire map here that's kind of crooked with some blue tape behind it and a peephole with a cover. It sucks to get it sucks, you gotta hold it up, otherwise it's gonna flop back down. Honestly it sucks. Then right as you walk in, the fridge. So you so like you open the door and then you want something to eat and the door's blocking the fridge. Not ideal. Yeah, it's got some crud on it or something. Nice and big. It's weird that the fridge is on top and the... Oh, it's a little wobbly too. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a little bit wobbly. It's not level. Here's the freezer. You gotta get on all fours to get down and... Looks pretty... Ugh. Looks disgusting. At least they give you an ice tray. It is very cold, so that's good. It does work, but that's just disgusting. A little tray basket thing. So yes, the freezer works. just needs to be clean. Nice drawers that kind of take their time closing. Still got a got a few great marks in it. It's all in fairly nice shape though. Nice sink. Water pressure is amazing. Paper towels, and that's where you dry the dishes. Microwave has a food stain in it. The plate, yep. It's weird that it kind of sticks out a little bit. I don't know if that's supposed to... But it is clean. Then you get the dishwasher, so it's telling you that the dishes inside are clean. And you get a full load dish just that the door doesn't stay down. It's kind of spring-loaded, so it kind of flops up a little bit. And that's kind of why you got to pull this tray out. Oh, they even threw the silverware thing in there, too. And it's still wet. Ugh. It's kind of dirty as well. Ugh. You can see on this side, there's like... Ugh, look at all that. Okay. But at least we do get dishes. Pencils look clean. That's why I say do not throw knives in the dishwasher, they rust. And I found a second one in there earlier. So that's why we don't throw knives in the dishwasher. <laughs> At least you get... Is this an ashtray? Ugh, it's still got food on it. Are these ashtrays or like bowls or something? Anyway, you get a lot of mugs. Despite two people in this room, you do get a lot. At least the plates are clean, the silverware thing isn't. It's not that clean. But you do get a lot, and it, yeah, yeah, I know, there's there's a ton of water in it. It's not a big deal. It doesn't click shut. It's because you... Oh! I learned something new. When it's open, and then when you close it... I could play with that all day. It's kind of ugly, I can still see the latch right there. This thing's broken. You, so you have the ability of connecting rooms if you wish, and that's what this thing's for to keep anyone on that side out. Got some crud on the carpet. Otherwise it doesn't look like a bad room so far despite the stain on the wall. It's not a bad room. And Let's draw our attention to this crack running down the wall here, and this one running horizontally. <laughs> eh, it's got its ups and downs, you know. What is that thing? That's the smoke alarm. That's the fire sprinkler. So what's this? <laughs> so many weird things in here. Here's a couch with stains on the ottoman. And these are the linens to put on it, because that's the only place I can sleep. That bed is being taken up by somebody else. Pull out sofa, that's good. It's nice and clean. Got a nice 
kind of wobbly lamp. Oh, at least it works. Lampshade's in pretty good shape, too. Sticker residue. I thought this was a drawer, but you can't really pull it out. And you do get a newer phone. And this lamp, down is on, up is off. I mean, I kind of get that. Lampshade's kind of, kind of loose. And you can spin it, too. Nice bed. I'm not going to take it apart because I'm not sleeping on it. This chair is kind of falling apart, too. Right here is kind of... This thing's all loose. But it does roll really nicely. They give you some recycling bins. And this looks like it used to have a handle, despite it having holes in it. Oh, yeah, maybe that's where the mini fridge would have gone. Drawers. Nice and clean. Nothing left behind. You get this cool lamp. It's nice and bright. You get a lot of USB. Get a nice closet with some hangers, ironing board. Just don't really use that right now. AC unit. Nice view. The unit is controlled by wall thermostat. I'm actually curious if the controls are still behind it. Doesn't look like it. Another nightstand with a modern alarm clock to charge devices in this loose thing. Somebody broke it. So that thing's broken, minus a point there and some peeling wallpaper. They used a little bit too much. Oh, we got a stain on the pillow. Oh, make that too. There's some crud on this one. Minus another point for the dirty pillows. <laughs> kind of firm bed. Get some nice blinds that you can control with these. And now for the final part, we're going to take a look at the bathroom. I also want to point out real quick that this outlet is extremely loose. Like, you plug anything into it, it it's, it's all loose and doesn't feel that secure. But at least this lamp works, despite it being on or off, this outlet still works. Oh, this is, this is a bit... <laughs> ah, a bit wobbly. Nice mirror. Extra cleaning and disinfection of top areas in your guest room. <laughs> I think not. <laughs> it's got some vents here that are moved in different directions and you have to manually open and close them, which is a pain. Moving on to the bathroom, which has a sliding door. Not even sure how you get that out. I, I, don't, I don't see how to grab it. Looks like somebody scribbled on it. Nice painting job right here, right here too. There's some paint. So, I don't know how to get this thing open. Oh, this is the handle. There you go. Got the handle. Oh, you can lock it too. That's good. It's nice to have. Here's the shower with the... the, um... tamper-tolerant, um... loose... Shower gel and shampoo thingies, whatever these are called. Oh, this one's just like gonna fall off. Oops, take that back, it did fall off. Okay, do not play with the shampoo and shower gel dispensers. Wow, <laughs> that was pretty weird. It's kind of a dirty light with bugs in it and this nice dirty shower. At least it's higher than my face. Toilet. Kind of wobbly drawer. This thing's, this thing's a little beat up. I gotta say something for this. Water pressure is not that great. It splatters all over the floor, and that's just not good. Look at that. And there's kind of some rust building up back there. <laughs> at least the mirror is nice and clean. <laughs> What do you know, somebody ripped out one of the towel hangers on the wall and just left it there. They didn't fix it or anything. This doesn't look very secure at all. Toilet looks clean. Floor looks spotless despite my footprints. 
Is that a drawer or something? No. Well, got some smudges on this. Some whatever that is. <laughs> it's kind of a quirky place. Not gonna lie. Fridge, right as you enter, broken door handle, just a bunch of other miscellaneous things going on in here, but it does work for a couple of days. Looks a little bit scummy. It's good that they gave you a bag to put the ice in. Yeah, that looks a little bit scummy. Now, I'm not sure what this is. Is it like something for the sink? Because it's too big, it's too small to fit the drain. I'm not sure what this thing is. It's nice and quiet in here, despite um, somebody running down the hall earlier. This is where you hang your mugs, I'd assume. Yep, we got some food here. We got um, coffee cream. We've never seen that in a room before. It's good that they give that to you rather than the um, powdered one. Then they give you tea. They give you a couple of teas, like just a couple of good ones. Lids. Um, and then a lot of coffee. Just about what you would expect. And this thing is a lot easier to clean than those ones with the pot. All you do is you pull this out, put one of those in, and turn it to either one or two cups, and then throw the filter out. And you put the water in here. Two cups. Not bad. Let's see if there's anything else I missed. Oh, this rug looks pretty nice. Oh, it's actually built in. I thought this was a rug, but it's actually built into the carpet. <laughs> Things throw me off. Oh, we got more stains on here. That's a big stain. <laughs> now it's kind of getting me wondering what's under the cushions. Spotless. Except for a little crumb. Ugh, the couch is nice and clean though. I wouldn't lick it though, but it is clean. Nice TV. It's kind of at an angle. It's kind of... I would have preferred it if that he could swivel so the person lying in bed could watch TV and the person lying on the couch, if they wanted to watch TV, they could swivel it towards them. But right in the middle, if you sit at like... Imagine you're sitting two people in here and you're on the very right and you got to crane your neck to see the TV. See what I mean? Just not my... Just not my thing. At least the remote's clean, I think. So you do have option for a DVD. I wonder if the TV has a DVD player built in. I don't think it does, but maybe you can hook one up. I oh, got HDMI 3 and USB in, so you can charge a phone in the TV. That's nice, and you got buttons on the side. Now I'm just curious to see if the TV works. just want to see what happens. Oh, it kind of lights up, too. Yep, it does work. It doesn't turn off. 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 There we go. <laughs> Get some hand sanitizer wipes. Not sure what those are for, because we have a sink with soap. Yes, this is hand sanitizer. I guess it's good to have when you're, like, in a place that doesn't have a bathroom, so that's nice. For that, let's see if there's anything else I forgot. That's about it. Let's look. Got, a, got a stain on the carpet. Otherwise, the carpet looks clean, except for that stain there, that stain there. Ironing board's kind of dirty, too. Ugh. Light fixtures are nice and modern. Let's see if there's any dust up here. Nope, it looks... Ugh, what is that thing? <sighs> this place is a bit quirky. Here's the reservation paper thing. So yes, you do have a lamp that takes a second to turn on, and you can adjust it, rotate it, so that's nice to have. And yeah, here's my couch I already showed you before. I just keep thinking that this is a rug. Like, like when you see a different coloration carpet, you're thinking, okay, the carpet ends here, and then there's like this rug. But no, this is literally part of the carpet. See, if I try to pull it up, it doesn't come up. So it's, it's legit part of the carpet. I mean, it looks nice. So yeah, not terribly bad. 
I think this is from my like, three or four star place. Not bad. So, oh, we got some caulk issues here. By the way, there's no tub. Just so that you're not, just so that you're aware, if you stay in rooms 417, there's no tub. But you do get a shower, so you do get to get clean. This kind of reminds me of a hotel in Europe, because I've stayed in so many of them. But other than that, it's actually a very nice place. I'm trying to look for other quirky things in here as well. The fridge is spotless, despite it kind of falling apart in places, but it is... Oh yeah, some bubbling paint. Not terribly bad, but the door handle definitely needs some help. And if I stay here again and I find the same thing, I'm going to know that it's a trend. And it was intentional, unless I just happen to get another broken doorknob. So... I give this a 3.9 out of 5. It's mostly good, but it does have a few minor issues going on that could be easily resolved. And there you go.